Yo. 2010 Hyundai Sonata. This thing's making a noise. That's driving a crazy person crazy. I gotta find it. I got a stethoscope here. I unscrewed this end so it's just an open hole and I had somebody jounce the car while I got underneath it and tried to find this noise. Anytime you got bushing noises like this, it, it travels really funny. So I just tried to find the loudest part. Using this side, it wouldn't do nothing because the noise just travels around all over the place. I already took the sway bar link off, hoping that it's one of the one of the balls that were making noise. It sounds like it's coming from right here. So I wanted to make sure that this sway bar link wasn't making noise first and I I hosed everything down the last time she was here with penetrant lubricant crap and I'm like hoping it went away and it, it didn't go away. I'm gonna just start unbolting stuff and I'm gonna try to find this noise before I just go and tackle this bushing. I'm going to start off by saying I really don't know what I'm doing yet and uh, I probably no, won't know what's going on until it's done. So I'm going to support this lower control arm to try to get this coil spring out of here. I got a 19 on this link. And I'll take this one out. Now I'll slowly let this down. Take this coil spring out. I don't hear any noises. I was hoping I'd hear some noise coming out of this thing. I don't hear anything. Well, that's no fair. Now I don't hear any noise. What's up with the silly Hyundai? I'm going to play around and try to figure this out. I think I found it. I put a little castle nut on here and bolted this bolt back in and I can... I can turn it just a little bit. It's like torn and it's squeaking. So even though I heard it with my stethoscope way down on the other side, it, it's funny how noise travels. It just travels right through this arm and it made the most noise right here. But I was wrong. So I'm going to try to find one of these bushings. I'm going to go after that. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, but it says it's a 2010. But the VIN, the 10th VIN is a B, so this should be a 2011, even though it's August 6th. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. I'm going to look it up for a 2011. I weighted the control arm down a bit, just so it stays out of my way. There's no real good tools for this to use on a ball joint press, so I'm just going to... I don't know, I got an inch and a quarter socket. It's a little bit smaller. I'm going to try to drive this thing out. I looked up the bushing, I found one in Moog. Here's the part number. It seems to be the same one. There's a taper on one side and not on the other, so I want to drive it in on this side. Like this. You got to go in nice and square right from the get-go. I got another socket that'll work good for installing this. It goes right over this bushing really good. This is one I kind of made a long time ago for doing oil changes. It's a 1 inch 16. It's just not square. That looks like it's squared up pretty good.
I'm going to go a little bit by hand first just to make sure it wants to go in nice. Seems to be okay. It's moving. Not cool. It moved on me. Not cool at all. I gotta get this back out of here. Try this again. No, I might as well try to drive it from the other way. This thing just doesn't want to square up in here. I hit it with a hammer a few times while it was tight, try to square it up a little more. Trying to get this thing square is pretty tough on me. It's pretty square, the thing ought to go in now. Booger, but I got it in there. Keeping the thing square was the hardest thing to do. Little hammer action kept it straight. Now I'm just gonna button this all back up. This coil spring only goes in one way. You gotta make sure that this rung is in the pocket, right? There's a flat on this sway bar link. You wanna make sure that's in the pocket, right? I never moved it, so it should go in real nice. Little alignment punch. These bolts and nuts get tightened to about 87 foot pounds. This one gets tightened to about 115 foot pounds, and I want to make sure that this suspension is loaded. Right now, the corner's coming off of my off of my hoist, so I know it's it's up as far as I'm going to get it. There it is. I'm going to put a tire on this and I'm going to jounce it, make sure that noise is gone and call it a job. Okay, bye.